Okay, now I want to finish up the last few problems, numbers 13 to 20. Okay, um, again, I have to do a whole bunch of short videos because I'm having computer or whatever technical problems. I can only record a whole bunch of short ones compared to just one long one. Okay, question number 13. Uh, what is magnesium hydroxide? So magnesium is Mg, is charge is positive 2. Hydroxide is OH, is charge is negative 1. Now, how do I know hydroxide is OH minus 1? Because it's on page 45. Hydroxide is OH, is charge is negative 1. So, okay, positive 2, negative 1 add up to 0? No, it doesn't. But if I have two hydroxides, then that would add up to 0. The form of magnesium hydroxide is MgOH taken twice. In fact, that's usually how we call it. MgOH taken twice. Isn't this the same as, I write in different color, uh, MgO2H2, if you can see that. Um, technically, yes, but don't write it this way, okay? Don't write it like that, MgO2H2. Technically, yes, that is two oxygens, two hydrogens. But hydroxide is OH minus. And yes, there are two hydroxides. But the way this is written, I can't tell this is two hydroxides. We write it like this. Two hydroxides, OH, in parentheses, OH is hydroxide, with a two after that. But yes, technically, that is two oxygens, two hydrogens. But we don't write it like this down here. OK, question number 14 is uh, 14 says sodium phosphate. Sodium is Na on page 45. Phosphate is PO4, is charge is minus three. Positive one, negative three add up to zero? No. I need three sodiums, each one being positive one. Now that's positive three, one phosphate, that's negative three. The correct formula of sodium phosphate is Na3PO4. I don't need to put a parenthesis around the phosphate as if there's only one. It's kind of like you don't have to write one X plus one Y. Usually we don't write ones. Okay, next one, question number 15. Let's push this paper up. 15 says uh, aluminum carbonate. Aluminum is Al, is charge is positive three. Carbonate is CO3, is charge is minus two. Positive three, negative two, of course, doesn't add up to zero. But what is the common multiple between three and two, or least common multiple between three and two? It's six, the least common multiple between three and two is six. So if I had two aluminums, each one being positive three, that'd be a positive six charge. If I had three carbonates, three carbonates, each one being negative two. That'll add up to negative six. Aluminum carbonate is Al2, in parentheses, Cl3, three. Two aluminums and three carbonate. Don't distribute the three in the carbonate. Yes, that is technically three carbons and nine oxygens. That is correct. That's three carbons and nine oxygens. But we don't write that, okay? We're not gonna distribute that, not in these formulas. Okay, number 16, uh, calcium chloride. Ca is calcium plus two, chloride is negative one. Of course, that doesn't add up to zero, but what is the correct form of calcium chloride? Okay, I need two chlorines. Positive two, two negative ones, adds up to zero, CaCl2. Number 17, numbers, oh, sorry, number 17. Okay, so 17, sodium cyanide. Sodium is Na, is charged as positive one. The cyanide ion is Cn, it's minus two. It's on page 45 or right here on this paper. Let me move them. That's okay. Cn minus, that is cyanide ion. Positive one, negative one adds up to zero. I don't need to do anything, just oops, NaCn. That's it. And so the next one, number 18, aluminum oxide. Aluminum's charge is positive three. Oxide's charge is negative two. 
So what's the correct formula of this aluminum oxide? Well, I need two aluminums. Why? Because the least common multiple between three and two is six. Two aluminums, three times two is positive six. And I need three oxides, each one being negative two. That's negative six. The correct formula of aluminum oxide is Al2O3. Uh, two, two more, magnesium acetate. Magnesium is Mg, is charge is positive two. Acetate is C2H3O2 minus. I know that's not actually on page 45, but I'm just telling you that's what it is. So positive two, negative one doesn't add to zero. How many acetate ions do I need here? I need two of them. I need two of these acetates. Two negative ones, each acetate's a negative one. One positive two adds up to zero. The correct formula of this is magnesium with in parentheses acetate. C2H3O2 is acetate. Two of those in parentheses. Yes, that's technically four carbons, six hydrogens, and four oxygens, but we're not, we not going to distribute that. 20, the last one, ammonium, which is NH4 plus, chloride, which is Cl minus. What's the formula of ammonium chloride? Just NH4, Cl, done. Because positive one, negative one adds up to zero. We're done. 